Mention Ryan Gosling and the general consensus is women want him and men want to be him. So, with the release of his new film, political thriller The Ides of March, what better time to profile quite simply the most exciting actor gracing the big screen right now? Born in Ontario, Canada in 1980, Ryan was raised in a strict Mormon household with his older sister. After attending an open audition, a 12-year-old Gosling was picked to be one of the all-singing, all-dancing gang on the Mickey Mouse Club. Performing alongside fellow future stars Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, and Britney Spears, the role saw him briefly move to Florida and live with the Timberlake family. At the end of his two-year Disney stint, Ryan decided not to follow his fellow Mouseketeers into a career of bubblegum pop. Instead, Gosling went down the TV acting path, which included a lead role in Young Hercules. By this time, Ryan was keen to forge a career in film, but much to his frustration, his kids show pass meant he wasn't even getting the auditions. All I had to show for it was like a VHS copy of uh, uh, me like, you know, dancing around on the Mickey Mouse Club or uh, fighting CGI phoenixes and, and, and like uh, young Hercules. So it's hard to, 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 to prove to anybody that you, you got anything else in you, you know. He eventually got his big screen break in controversial drama The Believer in 2001. Ryan was praised for his performance as a Jewish teenager turned neo-Nazi skinhead. For 2004's The Notebook, Ryan picked up the MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss, an accolade he shared with his co-star and future girlfriend, Rachel McAdams. The next few years saw Gosling slowly but surely build his career, playing a variety of misfits in independent films. He was Oscar nominated in 2006 for his role as a school teacher with a drug problem in Half Nelson. While the following year he received a Golden Globe nomination for his portrayal of a loner in love with a sex doll in Lars and the Real Girl. It didn't seem that far-fetched to me, to be honest, and maybe that makes me sound weird, but kids have teddy bears, you know, and they, they're real to them. They, they love them, and they don't have to be loved in return in order to give that love. So I thought it was something, it's very innocent, you know, even though she's a sex doll, their relationship is quite childlike. Last year came Blue Valentine, about a couple going through a marriage breakdown. But 2011 has undoubtedly been Gosling's landmark year, with a 30-year-old appearing in no less than three high-profile films. In Crazy Stupid Love, Ryan tackled his first comedic role opposite Steve Carell. Then he was a stunt car driver, moonlighting as a getaway man with violent tendencies in Drive. I love John Hughes movies, love Pretty in Pink, but I always thought if there was a head smashing in it, it would be the perfect movie. And when I read this, I thought I had potential to be that. Now comes The Ides of March. Written and directed by George Clooney, Gosling plays a campaign secretary who gets involved in a scandal that threatens Clooney's shot at the presidency. I've worked on more campaigns than most people have. By the time they're 40, he's the only one that's going to actually make a difference in people's lives. It doesn't matter what you thought. It matters what you did. It matters what you didn't do. Already, word on the street is that this is the role that might finally nab Gosling his long overdue Oscar. Watch this space. They're the unrivaled, cutest button-nosed couple in Tinseltown. He's a gazillion-selling baby-faced pop star with a legion of loyal believers. She's a successful child actress turned singer. So, in the admittedly unlikely event of a career...